almost all of us know what back pain feels like, but for some like Jenny, it's been a lifelong struggle, and it's been scoliosis that has left her suffering in solitude. When I was in eighth grade, my parents took me to get evaluated for scoliosis, and I actually fainted when I saw my x-rays. I was so scared of the image. They decided to put me in a Harrington brace. It was very traumatic. It had one rod that came up underneath your chin, and then it connected at the hips and the waist. I had to sleep in it. I was in it 24-7, except for a shower. It was completely immobilizing. Self-esteem was horrible. The teasing was awful. After the four years that I wore it, the doctor said the Harrington brace did not help with the curve. All of it was for nothing. It was heartbreaking. There was a period of about eight years that I didn't do anything about my back. And then in 2006, I had horrible back spasms. And I went to the doctor and he said they needed to do a full spinal fusion immediately. My first surgery was 16 hours. They used rods and screws, and it went from my neck to my tailbone, breaking all the vertebrae in between to get it to go straight. And 11 months later, the titanium rods broke. Those days were dark for me. The doctors decided to take all the hardware out. It left me with broken bones in my back that had not healed correctly. The worst pain I'd ever suffered. There's never a day in my life that I haven't had back pain. Chronic pain takes no prisoners. Word had spread about my case in the doctor community, and no one would touch me. No one would even take a look at my x-rays. One day I got a call from my dear friend Jerry, and she'd seen a doctor show with a woman who was suffering from scoliosis, and she told me that she had contacted the doctor show and that Dr. Melamed might be able to help me. There was a huge spark of hope. After I received her phone call, I thought if there was one chance that someone could help me, that it would be a miracle. More with Jenny when we return.